Hello and welcome. My name is Ben Vlieger and I want to say thank you for joining us here at this live session here at PAC Expo Connects. Like everyone, we wish we could be joining you face to face at PAC Expo like what we normally do this time of year, but unfortunately that's not possible. I just want to say thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to join us virtually. With me today is Chris Angle. Hello everyone. Chris is our expert in the healthcare, pharmaceutical, and cosmetics industries. Chris, can you maybe take a moment to tell us how you got into packaging in these three industries? Absolutely. As a lover of the outdoors, uh, keeping our planet clean and healthy is a major priority for me. When I entered the packaging world, I saw it as an opportunity to help guide pharmaceutical and healthcare manufacturers to a more sustainable future. Okay, and how do you see packaging tying into sustainability? Every packaging decision can help or hurt the planet. Approximately 2,800 to 3,500 tons of plastic packaging and plastic product waste are generated daily by healthcare facilities according to the HPRC. Uh, most of that goes into a landfill or gets incinerated. An aging population and improved healthcare availability are driving demand in medical device and pharmaceutical industries. As a result, pharmaceutical manufacturers must be able to provide a greater variety of pharmaceutical products. Okay, and tell us how you think felons can help. Pharmaceutical manufacturers are focused on the health of the patient, which is where their focus should be. As packaging professionals, we want to assist them by offering cutting-edge solutions that can help them save time, save money, save lives, and help the health of our planet. Okay, and today you're going to talk about unitizing with banding and how it can help with product traceability? Absolutely. Uh, customers in pharmaceuticals and healthcare have extremely strict standards, um, hygiene, flexibility, efficiency, safety, and traceability are all essential when it comes to handling pharmaceutical products. Uh, what these uh, industries need are, is a cutting edge solution capable of covering all these bases. And since your area of expertise is healthcare, cosmetics, and pharmaceutical, that's going to be the focus of our discussion today. But banding can be used in other industries as well. Absolutely. Uh, banding actually got its start in the printed products industry and has grown exponentially in recent years. Um, you can find it in food, corrugate, e-commerce, just about anywhere where you need to gently yet securely bundle products together. And as a side note, um, we've got a few other live demos that are going on this week that focus on some of the industries that Chris just mentioned. Once we finish up today, uh, please feel free to check those out and sign up for those as well. Also, just want to mention we have a live chat that is running concurrent with our discussion here. Feel free to ask your questions, put comments out there. We have a team of fantastic individuals behind the camera that's going to be able to respond and answer those. In addition, at the end of our discussion, we will post a link to a live Zoom call uh, where you can actually have a conversation with Chris and ask any questions that you didn't want to ask uh, via a chat. Um, lastly, if you need to duck out early, please just put contact me in the, in the chat. Chris will reach out to you once we finish up to see what questions you might have that you might not want to have asked in front of a, a large audience. So Chris, tell me how felons can help with unitizing and track and trace. I think it makes sense to briefly explain ultrasonic banding, which is our primary technology for unitizing with traceability. Okay, yeah, let's start that. So most of you out there are probably already familiar with strapping. It's a common packaging method used in a variety of applications. Uh, the strap itself is strong and inexpensive. Uh, banding is similar to strapping, except we can more precisely control the tension with which it is applied. The band is also wider, so the tension is dispersed over a greater area and is less likely to cause damage to the product. Uh, lastly, uh, banding offers a variety of different materials from sustainable paper materials, soft ribbon-like materials, as well as an assortment of plastic film materials. Okay, and can you tell me why you call it ultrasonic banding? After we tension the band around the product, we ultrasonically weld the band to itself. We use an ultrasonic weld as an opposed to a heat weld because it is in fact clean, repeatable, and efficient. I think we've got a video that we can take a look at that might be able to explain that a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely.
It's a great video. Okay, so now that you have explained and shown us what ultrasonic banding is, how is it used? Absolutely. Banding can be used in a variety of different applications. Uh, many manufacturers to prefer to ship out products in the case quantity, but retailers may not always want to receive such large quantities. Uh, smaller quantities can be bundled using banding. Uh, this makes it much easier at the sales outlet or the distribution center as bundles can be simply need to be removed from the transport boxes. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you maybe have another example or two that might help uh, members of our audience understand a little bit better? Absolutely. It's also a great way to create a clean and secure multi-pack where multiple of the products may be used at the same time. A great example of this would be surgical wipes. We have a customer who needs to administer three packages of wipes prior to a surgery so that a patient can sanitize before an operation. Uh, banding keeps the wipes held together and then can be e easily removed once needed. Um, in addition to that, it acts as a way to ensure the safety of your products during shipping, keeping items closed during transit or keeping them securely in a bundle in the case pack. Um, and as well, it acts as an additional opportunity to serialize your products um, on levels smaller than the case quantity, uh, helping you track and trace your products through the supply chain. And how might this compare to similar technologies? So for example, I see shrink film used in much the same way that you're describing for multi-packs or for, for quantities less than, than an entire case quantity. Yep. Companies often rely on shrink wrapping technology where products are bundled and shrink filmed for logistics. Uh, this process requires excess heat as the shrink tunnel needs to be heated up while the room itself needs to be kept cool. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? You're, you're cooling the room down, heating it back up with uh, the heat tunnel, and then your HVAC system has to cool it back down again. That yep. doesn't make a ton of sense, does it? Additionally, the heat can also adversely affect the products. This process creates fumes, pollutants, and other wastes in the form of leftover bits of film. How do the materials that you use with banding compare to shrink film? Products are gently bundled using uh, paper or plastic films as desired. Um, we also offer pre-printed materials as well as uh, integrated thermal transfer printers to print real-time data uh, onto the bands. What does the removal process for the band look like? The removal process is very simple. Uh, once products reach the sales outlet, um, the bands can be simply removed by hand as opposed to shrink film where you usually need a knife to remove the film, uh, which can put the worker at risk for injury and the product at risk for damage. So switching gears a little bit, let's go back to the question I asked earlier. Why is track and trace important? Absolutely. The World Health Organization estimates the cost of counterfeiting um, in the pharma industry to be $75 billion per year. When discussing counterfeit shoes, handbags, or electronics, this may not seem like too large of an issue, but when it comes to life-saving medicines and medical devices, it is of the utmost importance to keep these counterfeits out of the consumer's hands. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how can banding help? Banding can act as a form of tamper-proofing and it also can act as a uh, way to serialize your products on case or levels smaller than the case quantity. Uh, we offer pre-printed material as well as uh, integrated thermal transfer printers capable of printing real-time data onto the band. Can you give us an example of how that might be used? Absolutely. Uh, serialization, date codes, lock codes, just about anything you can think of to allow for traceability. What about barcodes and QR codes? Absolutely. So we talked about how banding can work on various products, but what does the equipment that applies the banding material look like? Sure. ATS banding machines can be configured as a standalone machine or as part of a production line. And earlier in the presentation, we had a video uh, where you would see a standalone machine. What if people are interested in automation? We have. Um, our automated systems are typically placed directly in line with other packaging equipment. Um, we have a variety of standard automation options and can even work with you to custom configure automation to meet your needs. What if somebody wants to integrate banding into their own equipment? Uh, we have uh, 
automation ready equipment uh, that can be easily integrated into existing equipment. What are the most common applications where you see banding being used? Fifth panel cartons, medical wipes, blister packs, medical tubing. We'll work with you to determine uh, what the best solution is based on your application and needs. And we actually have a video here that will do a, a demonstrate a few different solutions. That's a great series of videos, very, very informative. Now, earlier you talked a little bit about the materials that are used with banding. Can you maybe expand on that a little bit for anybody that might not understand exactly what we're talking about? Sure. We offer sustainable paper banding material as well as an assortment of recyclable plastic films with different thicknesses, tension, tensile strengths, and colors. The Plastic films that you're talking about, those seem pretty straightforward, probably something similar to touch and feel like what we would experience it with flexible packaging, a stand-up pouch, etc. Um, but maybe expand on the paper a little bit. That sounds like it's a little bit of uh, a, a different type of packaging than what people are used to. Sure. Our ability to use paper banding material is actually one of the things that sets us apart. Um, the banding material can be easily removed by simply tearing it anywhere along the band. Um, obviously this is not going to work for every application, so that's why we offer the more traditional recyclable plastic films. Um, even our films have some unique features, however, like our perforated film, which is strong, but can be torn by hand at the perforation, so no need to use a knife or scissors. Oh, very cool. And there's a variety of different bandwidths that people can choose from as well? Absolutely. Our materials come in widths of just under an inch up to four inches wide. So if there are folks in the audience who are trying to figure out if banding will work for them, what are some good next steps? Absolutely. Samples can be sent to our facility where we'll band them using the machines in our showroom. We'll create a video of the banding process and then we'll return the banded samples back to you for your review. Fantastic. Chris, this has been incredibly informative. Uh, I just want to say thank you for your time. Unfortunately, the format of our live demo today requires that we need to cut this discussion short. If 
you didn't get your question answered, Chris is going to hop on a live Zoom call right now. You should see that link in your chat. Uh, additionally, if you don't have time to hop on a call right now, just put contact me in the, the chat and Chris will reach out in the next couple days. In addition, Chris's virtual business card is on our PAC Expo Connects page. You can reach out to him there. Last but not least, uh, you can go to felons.com and find all sorts of great information about banding in the pharmaceutical, healthcare, and cosmetic industries. Thank you everyone for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone.